Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to explain about a histogram specification. To watch more videos, please subscribe to my channel and share to your friends. So before going to this histogram specification, if you see these two images, this image is a, a better quality image and this image is a, a low contrast image. So here the scene is the same, but these two images are captured by different cameras. So here it is the better quality image and this is a low contrast image. So now by using this histogram specification, we will map these values of this original image with the target image mapping values so that we will get a better quality output image. So for these two images, we are representing in the form of a, a matrix. That is nothing but we are representing these two images in the form of a matrix. Here it is the original image gray levels represented by 8 by 8 matrix and here it is the target image gray levels represented by 8 by 8 matrix size. So for these two images we are representing that gray level distribution in the table format. So here this is the table which representing that original image gray level distribution and the second table representing that target image gray level distribution. So here the gray level is represented as R and the number of pixels are represented by P here. So that is within this image the maximum gray level is 7. So here we can represent this 7 in the binary format as 111 that is nothing but by 3 bits. So here by considering the base to 2 to the power of 3 equal to 8. So the maximum gray levels we can represent for this image from 0 to L minus 1 where L is nothing but 8. So here we can represent the maximum gray level as L minus 1. So 8 minus 1 is nothing but 7. So for these two images, the maximum gray level is 7. So that is why we are taking that the gray levels are taken from 0 to 7. So here for this corresponding gray levels, we are representing that the number of pixels. That is, for example, here we have 12 pixels are there. So these 12 pixels has fourth gray level. And here we have 16 pixels are there. For these 16 pixels, the gray level value is 5 and here we have 4 is there for this 4 the gray level value is 6 is there and for here we have 2 pixels are there here the gray level value is 7 so like that we will represent that original image and target image gray level distribution and after representing that gray level distribution we will do histogram equalization for individual images so here we will take that gray level values from 0 to 7 and the number of pixels having that corresponding gray levels are represented as pk so 0th gray level contains 8 pixels and gray level value 1 contains 10 pixels like that the gray level value 7 contains 2 pixels so like this we are representing that number of pixels now we will do the cumulative value so here we have first 8 is there that is represented as 8 so that is represented as 8 and next we will do 8 plus 10 we have 18 and 18 plus 10 we have 28 and 28 plus 2 we have 30 and 30 plus 12 42 and 42 plus 16 58 and 58 plus 4 62 and 62 plus 2 we will get 64. So like that we will do cumulative value and after doing this cumulative value we will do cumulative value divided by total number of pixels into maximum gray level. So here the cumulative value here it is 8 and the total number of pixels are 64 and the maximum gray level here it is nothing but 8 minus 1 that is equal to 7. So by doing like this for our cumulative values so we got all these values. So now we will round off these nearest gray level. So here we got this 0 0.8 here. So it can be round off to 1 and here it is 1.9 we can round off to 2 and here it is 3.06 it is rounded off to 3. So like that we will do for all cumulative by total into L minus 1 values. So like that we got that for these corresponding gray level values from 0 to 7 we got the mapping values like this. These are the mapping values that is 0 can be mapped by 1 and 1 can be mapped by 2 and 2 can be mapped by 3 like that 7 can be mapped by 7 and 5 can be mapped by 6. So like that we can map that gray level values of this original image. So the same procedure can be done for the targeted image. So we will take that gray level values from 0 to 7, we will take the 
number of pixels having that corresponding gray level values and after that we will do cumulative value and finally we will do cumulative value by total into l minus 1 so that we got these rounded off values for the corresponding these values. Now we will do that histogram specification or histogram matching. So here we have the gray levels values are there from 0 to 7 and original image mapping gray level values and here this is the target image mapping values we got. So for this one, for this gray level one, the closest match is here it is 2. The closest match is here it is 2. So the corresponding gray level value is 4. So that can be represented as here. And for 2 again here the closest match is 2. So the corresponding gray level here it is 4. And for 3 the closest match is 4. For this corresponding gray level value is 5. And for 3 again here it is the closest match is 4. That can be represented the gray value as 5. So here we can represent 4, 5 and 5. And for this 5 the closest match is 6. So here the 6 gray level value is given as 6 here. So it can be represented as 6. And for this 6 we have the closest match is again 6. That can be represented as by 6 here. Because for this 6 the corresponding gray level value is 6 here. And for 7 the closest match is 7 here. For this 7 the corresponding gray level value is 7. And for this 7 the closest match is 7. Again for this corresponding value here we got this 7. So here it is 7. So like this by considering that uh, original image the targeted mapping values are mapped to another mapped values that is another gravel values so that we got 4, 4, 5, 5, 6, 6 and 7, 7. So like this we will do histogram specification or matching. So here this is the original image and here it is the targeted image. In previous we got that low contrast image. Now by doing this histogram specification or matching the we got the better quality output image. So thank you very much for watching this video. To watch more videos, please subscribe to my channel, Open Box Education.